we are being watched. They are, Israel has always been the barometer to where we are as far as scripture is concerned. And as far as prophecy is concerned. Um, they're watching everything that we do. That's why they manipulate views, manipulate, you know, when videos can get out, how long we have to wait, all that. Because it has nothing to do with the Gentiles. Everything revolves around the Israelites. Let me show you about a post that I saw yesterday on my channel. This was a post uh, from yesterday or a couple of days ago, I think, something like that. His brother here would put this up. He goes, Shalom. You know, today I was watching MSNBC and the topic was exactly what you were discussing the other night about the Inquisition and how the Christian church sanctioned the murder, torture of the natives of the Americas. They left the part out about the Israelites out. OK, that was the second time I heard that yours was the first it says you are correct. The whole truth is coming out by their own mouths. All praises. Shalom. I said, amazing. So you see. They're always trying to come out with things and, and give their two cents and give their breakdown and give their opinion. And they conveniently always leave out information about the Israelites. He's like, look, man, we already know the Israelites were here. You pretty much the same things you were doing to the Jews in Europe, Spain, Portugal, France, Rome. You did the same things over here. That proves that, you know, your church fathers, remember, believe that the Israelites have no rights. They believe that we were, you know, destined to be in perpetual slavery. Okay. Now, yes, when we were going into our curses, they are correct. But the part that they forgot to tell everyone else who made a covenant with these churches is that, yeah, you're going to get an opportunity to destroy the Israelites. Yes, they are going to go into slavery. Yes, we can do all anything we want to them. But was that really a prudent decision? Because they forgot to tell you that, okay, well, at the end of their punishment, we're going to be punished for the way we treated them. See, that's the part that these churches have conveniently left out. They've left out the fact that, yes, there is going to be a price to pay for doing these horrible things to the Israelites. Now, if you have not been participating in this horrible experience, and like I said, there are people who have not been, okay, your judgment won't be as bad as the ones who have really gone out of their way and really done horrible things to the Israelites. That is in 2nd Baruch. That is in the Sefer. But see, like I talked about in the last couple of videos, how it's like the dog that's in the manger, okay, or in the trough that won't allow the cows to eat. So they, they the dog sleeps in the trough right there where they put the uh, the food for the cows, right? So he doesn't, he can't eat it. So he doesn't want the cows to eat it. That's what your church does. They can't repent. They already know that they were the ones that were responsible for doing the Israelites dirty. They were the ones that were responsible for going overboard with destroying the Israelites. So they already know that. They know that those were the Gentiles that are going to be getting it the worst. But what they're trying to do is make everyone go down with the ship with them. That's exactly what you're seeing going on right now. But the Most High is calling his people and he's calling the Gentiles that are going to cleave to his people. The Most High is not going to lose a one. Okay, so all the manipulation that you're doing is not going to matter. Just like all the manipulation you've done with hiding books and hiding information has not stopped prophecy from being fulfilled. Your manipulation of what's being seen, your manipulation of trying to say how many people are really in this awakening. I said that's not going to stop the Most High either. The Most High's will will be done. There's nothing that you can do to stop it. See, everything that you took from us, we're going to be getting back. It has nothing to do with what I'm saying. It has to do with what is written. Everything that the most, the most high's prophecies and his fulfillment is 100%. We, you know, look at what happened to us. When you look at the Inquisition and the horrible things that happened to us, those were the fulfillment of prophecies. And see, the churches love the fact that they were able to be used to take us down. But they're not going to love the fact that they're going to have to pay double now. That's the part that they haven't told you when you made a covenant with them that you have to pay double. You're going to have to go through double. That that cup of trembling that we had to drink, you're going to drink it now. You're already drinking it. I mean, just look at society right now. Do you really think that we're going to go another 10 years, 15 years, 20 years in this same matrix? The matrix is being destroyed every day. 
you know, with each passing day, we're getting more information, more understanding. It's very easy to see how the Gentiles will look at a topic that we bring up. You don't see very many Israelites bringing up information about, you know, topics about the Inquisition. You see what I'm saying? They don't, they don't, they're not talking about the Inquisition. They're not talking about how that fulfills prophecy. They're not talking about how the Inquisition was brought over here to America. They're not talking about the horrible things that they were doing in the Inquisition over here in America. In the Americas. I don't want you to think it's just North America right here. It was from Canada all the way down to the tip of South America. Okay? They also went to other parts of the world and were doing the same things. So you don't think that like that somehow is the, the end days right now? Because now everything is is picking up. Everything is like really speeding up. Our enlightenment is, 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 is speeding up. Their lies, just like, you know, them trying to do a story on MSNBC about the Inquisition in America. What are the odds that we start talking about that and then all of a sudden there's a, you know, a piece on MSNBC? They weren't talking about the Inquisition in America before. They weren't, you know, but you can see they, they want to control who they say were the ones that went through this horrible thing. I'm sorry, man, but this is way worse than anything that happened in World War II. Okay, there are way more people killed. I don't care what numbers that they say. If you have those, if you see these people and they had the blessing of the sword and how quick they were willing to use it, you think they're only going to use it on a, a couple hundred thousand people, 50,000 people, 60,000 people? No, man, they wanted all of our money, they wanted all of our prestige, they wanted all of our standing. So they, they didn't care who they had to kill and destroy to get that. So, that said, it wasn't just a few people wasn't just like, you know, they, I mean, these people are quick to, to wield that sword and use it. You see what I'm saying? And that's how they were before. The only reason they're not using it now is because the Most High is taking that power away from them. That's the only reason. It's not like all of a sudden they got a moment of pause and now they felt bad about what they did. The only reason they're not doing it anymore is because the Most High took the sword away from them, which then proves that they really never had the power. The only power that they had was what the Most High gave them. That's why, like, now that, that blindness that they put over our eyes, those scales they put over our eyes, as far as religion is concerned, is now gone for the ones who have been awakened. There's absolutely nothing I can learn from a Gentile that goes to church. Absolutely nothing. They can't lead me to the Most High. They can't tell me how to live. Not until you start to fess up to your history. And even then, you, you're just, it's going to make it even worse. You're going to be filled with shame. Just like it talks about in scriptures. Shame is going to cover you because you made a covenant with these people that destroyed your people. And see, that's why we're, we're coming. We all come back. You're going to have to pay for making that covenant with those other nations. So you're here too. So it's not just us who were destroyed and, and tortured, but also the people who made covenants with these other nations. I said, they're, they're here too. Okay, and they're going to have to um, pay for what they did. They're going to have to pay for turning in their people. They're going to have to pay. For, that's why they can't see this truth, but they're going to see it. Oops, they're going to see it soon. You see what I'm saying? They're going to see it soon. They're going to see how they're going to have to pay for what was done to us as well. They're going to have to pay also. They made a covenant just like in Maccabees when our people were going and making covenants with the heathen. They're going to have to pay. So like I said, that's why it's not a, you know, this society's always made it into a black and white issue. And it's not. It's a spiritual issue. You can see who we are and who they are by this awakening. By who's awakened right now. Who's getting this truth. Who's growing. Who's stagnant. See, the Holy Spirit has come to bring us new understanding. Bring back the knowledge that we had before. Now we know what you've done to us in the past. We know how you trumped up charges, made up charges in order to steal everything that we had in order to destroy us as a people physically and spiritually and mentally. And I still see many of my people walking around here mentally like zombies, mentally gone. But that's why we're going to continue to expose these churches because the days of you being able to hide what you've done is a wrap and it's over with. And the Most High is here and the Spirit is here. And there's nothing you're going to be able to do to stop what's coming. Shalom.